Hey everyone, uh, Justin Ballard here. I'm here with Christine and JC. Hey JC. We got uh, Greg. Hi. Right. If you know American Sniper, and he's an awesome trainer. And then we got Roger. And then Roger played on the uh, Pittsburgh uh, uh, Pirates, is that right? And the Padres, awesome. And then we got <laughs> Teresa. And then of course my wife Amy doing the filming. Uh, if you guys have been following us, this is our seventh video of our Series 7. And what we've been doing is making everybody aware of the chemicals that are in our, in our body. In fact, three days ago, uh, Bernie Sanders, you've probably seen him all over in the news in the debate, you know, he told everyone, he's like, why are we paying water bills for poisoned water? And it kind of, you know, it resonates with me because all of our experiments, you know, we've been breaking down the water with our electrolysis electrolyzer. We're seeing all these hidden chemicals. Mm -hmm. And um, last week, I started messing around with different dyes that are in our food. So what we have here is we have um, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid is what's in our stomach. It's what's in our stomach, correct. Okay. And then, um, so these are some common food dyes that we have. So we're just going to pour so some. So what's in here right now? So this right here is, um, it's the blue, uh, blue food dye. And then this one, I believe, is the red dye number three. And we see that in all Oh, that's all in so much food. stuff. Oh, yeah. They add that to so many drinks. Well, I love uh, Marchino cherries. And food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that what's in red velvet cupcakes? Uh, red velvet cupcakes, I think that might be that red dye 40. Okay. That oh, dye. yeah, I think it is. What, yeah. So what is this one? Um, so that one is, uh, is just another common food dye. And I think that... Uh, Okay, here we go. Sorry, just making sure I get the measurements done correctly. Um, and as you can see, these have mixed up. And so as we'd see with Gatorade, it kind of looks like a Gatorade color, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So we got red dye number three. Um, we do have a, it's close to the 40. Um, I went down everything on the food scale that was on our, our baking list and I ordered it online. So why did you use the hydrochloric acid? So with the hydrochloric acid, um, what we're, uh, what it does is it, it makes the food dye invisible, kind of like what's in our stomach acid. It's so powerful that it actually drops the chromophore. So by adding the sodium hydroxide, um, it brings the color back. So watch when we add the hydrochloric acid back in. Now I made oh, all of this, this is the hydrochloric acid. This is the hydrochloric acid. Oh, okay. And I made all this with Kangen 8.5 water. Yeah, it's going back to Oh, wow. So clear. it's going back to clear. Yep. So this is your Gatorade. And I'm like, okay, let's make it, let's make it clear again. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. These ones are still holding out. That red dye is so powerful. So what does this mean? Like, what, what are we looking at now? Like, what is, what's going on? So what we're doing is we're dropping the chromophore effect. And right. so we're making the dye um, now emit a colorless, odorless um, look. You can't even tell that this used to be, it looks like red Gatorade. Mm -hmm. So then what we'll do now is we'll take some really concentrated hyd um, sodium hydroxide. And this will reveal... This is six times concentrate, and we'll reveal the food coloring again, and it will show you where it sits in the water table. And the reason we're doing this is, if you can see- what, I'm sorry, what is that again that you just put the drops in? So this is sodium hydroxide, but this is a 600 times concentrate. Okay. So um, it's going to reveal anything that's hidden within the, the food dyes as a chemical reaction. Now the sodium hydroxide doesn't mix well with the hydrochloric acid. Right. So just like we have with our intercellular pumps, and this is kind of a good example, you can see that it keeps the densities changed. And so we have rubbing alcohol on the top, we have natural body salt, and then of course we have um, the congen water on the bottom. So is that kind of like the, the sodium and the potassium? Yep, in our, exactly. In sodium, potassium, it, it's a chemical reaction. Okay. So now we added that in and look, we can see all this dye, it actually stays on the bottom layer. And then yet if we put the pH indicator, this particular chemical stays on the top unless you mix it in. And so it's the same with our, our water pipes. You know, we drink this water, we think that it's safe. Right. But what if that water hasn't been running for a few months? You know, sometimes uh, with the recent school that we tested, yeah, it took two weeks for the water to actually start coming out clear. So it started off as like brown, sludgy, and the kids still drank it for that two weeks. And then they moved on to where it started getting clearer. Mm -hmm. Now we did the test when the water was clear. There's more mercury in the students basically purified drinking water than there is in the Puget Sound Ocean. And we all know like how 
dangerous. Oh, so she's yeah. getting, and not to mention how dangerous. And we don't want high mercury levels at all. Exactly, yeah. it's terrifying. And so, and another thing. So, so the mercury was in the school tap water. Yes, the mercury was in the school tap water, and it was higher than what was in our because because they allow a certain percentage of mercury to be in. Absolutely, in the water. right? Yeah. yeah, and they've raised the the levels so high that it's like there's not much you can do about it. So um, now we got to, of course, go a little bit quicker here. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the fertilizer that's being sprayed on our, our foods. Uh, a very common one is ammonium nitrate. Right. And uh, with ammonium nitrate. What, what, what do you have here? What's in here? So this is barium hydroxide. Right here is barium hydroxide? That's barium hydroxide. And what hydroxide. are you putting in? This is uh, ammonium nitrate. Okay. And we're just going to mix only these two powders together. Okay. And um, I'm going to take some Kangen pH 7. So this is just a regular drinking water that our Kangen machine makes. I'm just going to spray this lid. Now, all it is is just water. We're going to put the little And why did you spray the lid? So <clears throat> the chemical reaction is what they call an endothermic reaction. Uh -huh. And uh, a lot of people will see that with like cold packs. Right, right. And what it does is it causes extreme cold. Because sodium nitrates in the cold packs. Correct. Right, yeah. It's absorbing all the electron and wow. heat around us. And so by doing that, um, you're going to literally freeze everything you're, that's within. You're freezing this. Yeah, I'm freezing yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> so uh. you're freezing it with just two chemicals and some Kangen water to, uh, to join them together. So We're that'll be the... This. <laughs> that's so cool. Hey, everybody on Periscope, thank you for watching. Okay, so now we got that set up. So it's going to go through the freezing process. Wow. And why it's doing that, actually, do you see the little you steam coming off, off it? Off the condensation already. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. look yeah. at that. That's like seconds. That. Yep. That's heavy, too. Yeah, that oh, is yeah. heavy. That's really heavy. <laughs> and so this is the power of chemical reactions. Oh, wow. You know, if you need to... You need to heat your hands up and blow. Watch, you know? This is real, it's not magic. Watch, this is my hand. <laughs> I'm going to grab this thing. <laughs> it's ice cold. And I'm going to lift it up. That's crazy. Yeah. And you can feel it. It's, it's ice heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah, you can see the frost. It, yep, so that is the power of, of chemicals around us. You know, you, you blow hot warmth into your hand. Yeah. So that's an exothermic reaction. Well, to do that, if you were to re recreate this and, and change it to heat from cold, you need calcium, you need sodium. And the Kangen water makes sure that it provides magnesium, potassium, sodium, and magnesium. And calcium. And calcium, yeah. Those are all really, really vital to have um, in your water. And of course, when you have those in your water, you can do amazing things. And you that's know? just something. That's just one of them. That's just one of them. Yeah. Now, this right here, ammonium nitrate, you're going to want to use the Kangen 11.5, and that will emulsify and pull all the fertilizers off the skin of your of your vegetables. So, right. You know, I think a good example is just soak your vegetables. What do you soak them? Three to five minutes? or Yeah, three to five minutes. Yeah, so, five yeah, minutes. yeah soak them three to five minutes. And when you pull those vegetables out of that... Vegetables or fruit or anything. Anything that we, where you want to take the pesticides off because the pesticides have the oil on it, you want to use 11.5 to emulsify the oil. Yeah. So, yeah. And the water looks disgusting at the end and you're so thankful that that didn't go in yeah, the water. Yeah, because you can see all of the pesticides in the water. Yep. And instead of ingesting it, it's in the water. So, yeah. yeah you're it's cleaning it. It's incredible. And that's yeah, why I'm doing this. Like, I've been so sick from all these chemicals, and I needed to basically build a lab to figure out what's making me so sick. And now I know. So to close off our series, we're going to do something really fun. Everybody hit the lights. Oh. And we are going to be turning on some black lights. Now, this video is running a little bit longer than normal, but that is okay. This is the last video in the series. So. Last video in the series, and then we're going to move on to some really cool electrical experiments. So we're not going away. So what are you doing right now? So right now, we're going to use the fluorescein salts. And we're going to show you guys all the really cool chemical reaction of fluorescein. And fluorescein, they use it in um, a lot of medical procedures, like for, for brain scans, for example. You can drink a solution of this or get it injected. And when it hits your, a little bit in there. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, that is oh. so cool. That is, <laughs> what is that? Okay, so that's fluorescein. So now when you drink Kangen water, it's microclustered. So it moves through your body really, really quick. Wow. Right. So if you were to take fluorescein salt um, with, you know, mix it up with some Kangen water, you could actually go from your stomach to your brain. And how quick is it, Roger? It's, it's 60 about, seconds. It's 30, 60 seconds. 30 it? to 60. Yeah, it's 30, 30, 30 to 60 seconds. That's incredibly is fast. It's your brain. In there right now? Yep, this is, uh, this is actually Kangen 9.5. And so that's the, um, the reaction. So I'll just put a little bit more in. And uh, What is that? Okay, so you put a different color. Wow. Uh, it starts off red. Oh, it does. And then the reaction that it has with the UV light. Oh, wow. Turns it into that. Yeah, it's a fluorescent green. 
It's okay, crazy. so so that's the conch and water, and what is it that you just put in again? It's just fluorescein salt. Just and, fluorescein um, salt. Yeah, it's very likely if you had any type of scans to check out what's wrong with you. Everybody has health problems now, stomach, diabetes, cancer, um, and this is what a common thing that they would do. And also, too, uh, Grant, you might remember this from um, the Marines. They, they give these packs to people that are stranded in, in the water, and so when they get stranded, they can drop one of these big packs in the water, and at night, the helicopters can see them. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah so it'll, it'll literally light up a huge yeah. section of the ocean. But look at that. That's, that would be like going into your stomach. <laughs> it's pretty neat to see. Oh, wow. But all these chemicals, um, you, don't, you don't want these man-made chemicals. You don't want these synthetics going no, into your body. they're organic. Yeah, they're dangerous for you. And that's one thing that, like, you know, that really uh, made me listen to Bernie Sanders' last message is he's like, why are we even paying water bills when our water is killing us? You know, the, the Flint, Michigan, it's terrible what, what these people are going to have to go through. And so if you have the right water filtration system, um, you don't have to worry about it. You can get it taken out and not have to wonder if, did I clear my, my pipes long enough? You know, is this water containing wow. something right, that's exactly. going to be really dangerous to my health? But there you have it, everyone. So thank you so much for... And uh, if they want to do any of these experiences them, themselves, you can... Uh, everything will be on the website on, on, absolutely, what, on, on yeah. all the products that you use and where to get it and so this forth. Is my, this is my kitchen. Um, you know, I only <laughs> did this to... And you got everything here off of Amazon. Uh, no, well, just friends, actually. I have, a, um, I have friends that actually from NASA. Oh, Google, okay. um, That's from overseas, too. On yeah, the yeah. Uh, I've actually had some friends from overseas send me presents. Uh, in fact, I have two... Uh, I have a ripple wave generator, a high frequency machine. But I mean, I mean the things that we're using here, like the beakers. Yeah, absolutely, and red, you, can do, you can get all these things at on Amazon. Yeah, it, you can get or, everything or on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. You, okay. you want to make a one of those coal packs? Well, so if someone wanted Amazon, to duplicate this for themselves to see the results, they could do it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just it's very simple science. But unfortunately, you talk to most people and they don't know about the chemicals. They don't understand what it does. Right. And they are carcinogenic and uh, that's really bad. So thank you for everyone for watching. I know this video ran long and um, have a blessed day and tune in for our next series coming soon.